Hey everyone, welcome back. So now that you're a pro at solving right triangles and recognizing the angles, right, recognizing the angles for given uh, ratios, let's move on to part four, which is like the application of all this, okay? Application of trig functions, all right? Um, so this is actually pretty simple considering what you've been doing lately, okay? But uh, let's talk about angle of elevation, okay? And angle of depression. Like the words imply, angle elevation means it goes up. See, it goes up. Depression means it goes down, just as the words imply, okay? You know what I like to think about? I like to think that the sky and the ground are parallel, right? And angle of elevation always touches the ground, in my opinion. It starts from the ground and it elevates. And angle of depression starts from the sky and it depresses. So that's how you can distinguish between angle of elevation and angle of depression. Now, let's try some, okay? So remember, this simple little, um, simple little uh, gadget, okay? All right, angle of elevation from the ground, angle of depression from the sky. And I know that some of you guys have noticed that angle of elevation and angle of depression, yes, how are they, what's the relationship? They are congruent, because what are they called? In geometry, you learn that they are called alternate interior angles. Remember that, you guys? Um, I don't teach geometry, but I used to a lot, so I know because some stuff, okay? Now, when you read a question from a point 340 feet away from the base of the 63 building in Seoul, the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 67.5 degrees. Find the height of the building. Rather than trying to just attack the numerical values of this problem because it's math, let's actually picture it. And this is a real, real life question, okay? Uh, I, I, I made this problem so then you can actually calculate how tall the 63 building is. And imagine how many of you will be needed to make the, uh, to actually climb the 63 building, okay? So let's actually uh, draw the 63 building. 63 building looks something like this. It's pretty skinny, right? Um, it says you're 340 feet away. So let's see, I'm 340 feet away. This is me, okay? I like to draw the picture every single time. And the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 67.5. So is it here? Right? Is it here? Is it this angle here? Right? Or is it this way? Right? So I want you to think about that. Okay? Well, it looks like you're standing this much away. So the angle of elevation, because you're looking up to the building, because you're looking up to the building, it's going to be this guy here that you're looking for. So it looks like you're looking for this guy. Oh, actually, you do know that guy. What is that guy? The angle of ele elevation is 67.5 degrees. And of course, usually the buildings always will be standing straight up and down. Okay? All right. So let's actually do this. So we're looking for this height. I like to make the variables so they actually make sense. Like H for height. Okay, not H for house, H for height. Okay, so now look about it. What's what do you have? Let's see. Let's think about what you have and what you want. What do you have? You have the angle, right? And you also that's all. Oh, and you also know this uh, actually here. Let's actually label this too. 340 feet. So you have the angle of elevation, right? And you also have an adjacent, right? You want opposite. So think about what you can use. Which one, which trick function uses opposite and adjacent? So I think you were thinking tangent does, and tangent of 67.5 degrees is equal to opposite, which is height over 340. And when you solve for height, oh, sorry, let's actually do it this way. Height is, let's write the equation. And can you guys make sure that you always write the actual, this numerical value in front of tangent 60.5? What happens usually is when students put it behind the 67.5, right here, then you get, you actually, you're taking the tangent of 67.5 times 340. That's no good, okay? So let's actually calculate. And when I put it into my calculator, here's the value that I get. 820.833 feet. See if you get that. Make sure you're in the right mode, because if you're not in the right mode, then it's not going to give you this value. Okay, now always ask yourself, does my answer make sense? And 820 feet, that pretty much makes sense. Because Miss Chang is a good point of reference. Miss Chang is 5 feet. So how many of Miss Chang are you going to need? Holy cow, okay? 
Um, I actually did the. Uh, I actually looked up the actual calculation for uh, actual. I'm sorry, height of the 63 building. The actual height is 820.210 feet. Whoa. Okay. All right. It's pretty tall. Let's move on to the last question here. Find the angle of elevation to the top of the 56 meter high building from point A. So it's all labeled for you. If this were a question on a test, I would have you label everything, okay? And which is 113 meters from its base. So what are we looking for? We're looking for now the angle of elevation. So again, from the ground, go up. So that's the angle that we're looking for. Let's look at what we have. What we have, what we want. What we want is the angle. What we have is from that angle, opposite and adjacent. If you want to take some time to answer my questions when I ask you, just stop the video and start over. I mean, and then think about it and then check your answers, okay? So it looks like we have opposite and adjacent again, huh? So let's again, tangent, right? Tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Therefore, tangent of theta is equal to, in our case, 56 meters over 113, oh, 113 meters. And looks like we need to use the inverse, right? Because we're looking for the angle. Anytime you're looking for the angle, looking for angle, right? If you're looking for the angle, you need what? You need inverse tangent. Okay? So the way I'm going to actually put it into my calculator is I'm going to look for this inverse tangent. And you have to parenthesize 56 over 113. I guess I didn't really need this meter part, right? I just don't want to confuse you. They're both meters. It, that, that's going to equal your angle. Make sure you're in the right mode. You're looking for the degree because in terms of like buildings and angle of elevation, it makes more sense that we're talking about in an angle, uh, degrees, not radians. All right? So when I do that, what do you get? Make sure that when you do that, you get something like this. If you don't, then you're probably in the wrong mode. And if you don't catch yourself, that means you're going to be screwed. Okay, we have to know how to say, does this answer make sense? Okay, and I ask a simple question here. Why is the angle of elevation and the angle of depression the same? So angle of elevation here, why is it the same thing as if I'm looking down from the building? And we already answered that question earlier. All right, I hope this was reviewed.